Hey team members, it's Kiana Prema and I'm here with another how-to video. This time we are doing how to design an event flyer on Canva. I get asked this all the time and um, you know to be honest I've really just told people hey go to Canva and do it and that's because I haven't found a good way in which to be able to put a template out there and have it used effectively. I put a template out a long time ago, like a year and a half ago, and for the most part, it just got destroyed right away. So um, I didn't have a YouTube page then though. So I'm gonna do this as a step-by-step -step how to, and I'm gonna put a link to a, a template out there that you can use, but please, please follow along with these instructions and make sure that you are using this correctly because if the template gets messed up or destroyed, uh, I'll just take it down. Uh, I'm not gonna correct it or fix it, all right? So that's my disclaimer. And um, after that, let's dive in, right? All right, so you're ready to make a, a template with Canva. First, what I'm gonna have you do is make sure you go to canva.com and uh, get an account created there. You, do, you can do a free account. Um, I'm gonna share my screen. And you are now looking at me and my Canva. And this is a, a flyer that I just designed tonight. You'll see that I've updated it to include the detox uh, using the new marketing messages that are coming out. And uh, this is an event that we've got coming up in a few weeks that we've got, uh, you know, Jonas is coming in as a guest speaker. We've got several leaders in the area. So there's a lot of people on this flyer, uh, if you are a member of the Team Hempress Business Success Facebook group, you are going to be able to get the link that will bring you to this template and uh, you'll be able to follow along from here. If you are in the Team Hempress organization and you're not in that Facebook group yet, please ask your sponsor to add you in there and welcome you to our group and you'll be able to find it inside the group. If you are not in the Team Hempress organization, but you're following along on my how-to videos, then please take this as a, a crash course training in how you can create your own, all right? And it's really simple to create inside of Canva. So do take what's on here and, and use it as your, um, as your own opportunity to design. So once you uh, click on the link and it's gonna bring you to this actual design, the very, very first thing you have to do is go right over here to file, make a copy. All right, and then a new tab is gonna pop up and it's gonna say copy of hemp plus detox template. And what you're gonna do is click right on here and now you're going to title this. This is now your own personal design. Nobody else is gonna be able to have access to this design unless you share it with them. So you would name this uh, with the name of your event. So, you know, I'll just say my event, May 24th, right? I'm just making it up, right? So now you've got your own, and now this is yours to edit. And there's a few places in which you're gonna edit, right? So here in the text, of course, it's got a description. It says, join local Boulder leaders, Renee Bischoff, Liz Love, Keanu Prima, blah, 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 as they host this person. So you're gonna change up this information. You're gonna put your name in here or your leader's names in here, your guest speaker, whoever that is, just, just recraft this. And all you're gonna do is click on this text box area and then you can you know highlight, redo that. Now leave all the rest of this alone for an overview presentation, uh, you know, bring yourself in a guest, leave that alone. This is stuff that I, uh, a long time ago, this base of this I've sent in and it's been approved by, um, by our compliance, by marketing compliance. So if you leave that text alone, then you know that your marketing design is compliant. You'll also notice I have a disclaimer over here on the side, it's very tiny, but it just basically says our products are not intended or claimed to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any, uh, what does it say? Any medical condition, disease, or illness. So leave that there, that's an important disclaimer. All right, so you're gonna make any edits here, so, right, I'm just gonna just say join me and my awesome team. Right, you'll, you'll feel in more details than that. Um, for an overview presentation, da, da 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 da, leave the rest. So, you'll change the date. So, like I just, as a 
is an experiment, so the 24th, so you'll put that, May 24th. I don't even know if that's a Wednesday or not. I'm gonna look at my calendar. It's actually a Thursday, right? So you just turn, change all the details. The time's gonna be the same. You put in the name of the location. Maybe it's gonna be at, um, you know, Awesome Yoga Studio. You'll put in their address, you'll put in whatever, if this is your pricing, guests are free affiliates, right? And then you're going to change here. So let's just say there's only two of you gonna be presenting. So let's just take two people out. So you're just gonna click on these elements that you don't need and delete them, okay? And then delete, and then, all right, so you've got different speakers. So over here, this is where you can upload your own images. Any image you have on your, on your computer, you just can drag and drop, and it will upload up there. And then you simply are going to, so let's just put somebody new in here. You just drag it over to the circle and then you'll see it kind of overlays in there, right? And so this one worked really well. If your pictures are cropped in a square, they work really great in this design. Um, I'm gonna show one. If you have a picture that is not cropped in a square, you'll put that over there. What you can do once it's in there is you double click on it and now you can kind of readjust it. You can slide it up or down to find the right place. Then just click the check box up here. And uh, you can choose to put filters. So, you know, photos are usually awesome, but maybe you want to just do a little, you know, like we've got some softness over here. So the Cali, that's kind of got a softness. So there's like a matchy-matchy a happening right there, right? And then you would update your names. Right, so just updating all of your personal information. Um, I hope you ladies don't mind that I'm using your uh, photos for fun. And I hope I'm spelling your name right, Galiel. So Galiel's name is a little longer, so I'm just gonna drag the box so that it goes out long, and then I can adjust this. Now maybe I feel like these look a little low down here, so I wanna highlight these elements. I'm gonna group these two together, and I'm just gonna move them up just a little bit so I don't have so much blank space here. And these are just, you know, this I'm just doing this. This is like my design eye, right? You can adjust and play with this all you want. So I'm gonna move that up so they're even. And that looks pretty good for me, right? So what I would do next is I would click up here, I'd click download, and PNG is what's recommended. Go ahead and do that. Click download, it's gonna process that for you, and then you're gonna have an image that you can share out with your groups. Now, um, that's doing that. Let me make a little disclaimer here. So on this particular design, this background is actually a paid background. Um, so I've paid for this. Um, so when I download this, I can download this unlimited because I paid for unlimited use of this imagery. Now you can either do that yourself and when that happens, you'll get prompted, do you wanna pay for it, single use or unlimited use? I don't remember what the cost of that was, you can decide. But if you don't wanna pay for it, you can go over here to background and you have choices. Um, there's all kinds of things that are free, like these are all kind of silly, but there are some here that um, are more solid colors, right? You could just decide to have a color. You could upload your own image. That one's like a little intense, but you could upload your own image. That looks all right to me. Um, or you could just choose to pay. So they're a dollar for single use, but then there's another price for like unlimited. And I don't think it's that much. I wanna say it was like 10 bucks or something. Um, you know, but you can now mix and match and play to find something that really fits you, I think that's terrible. Um, here's a leaf, plant leaf, that's kind of cool. It's hard to read, you maybe would need to change the text or change the colors, right? Um, anyway, just giving you an idea, you can play with that to create something that's really uniquely yours um, or to have a free option in there. I believe you could also upload a background and, um, and a background image and then be able to put that into the back um, as well. So uh, that's kind of the lowdown. I guess I'll show you one more piece in case you are really building one from complete scratch. So these images, the way they're in these circles, it's from these elements here. 
um, and they're called frames. So you can uh, scroll through here and you drop the frame in and then, so like if I did, were to delete this picture, come back over here. What's happening? Here we go. So if you delete the picture, you'll see that it's just got this kind of blank frame there. So you can choose that again up in elements. You could choose different, different shapes, different sizes, um, and have that be uh, something that you use to customize inside of there. Again, you just drag and drop the picture into that frame and then it, it will adjust. And um, I think that's really it. Um, if you're building from scratch, you're gonna add elements, you add text in these different boxes, you change your fonts and your colors and your things up here. Uh, I find it to be quite intuitive, very user-friendly. And uh, you can, you know, get as creative as you want with that. Uh, this image, I draw, I pull all my images from the website. You just go to the website and I basically just drag and drop it over to my um, desktop and then upload it. So you'll see this is in my upload. I uploaded it here. And this is a, an image that's called a PNG. So it's transparent. So you don't, you just get that image. There's no like white background behind it. Um, so I just copied that off the website and you can do that as well. So um, make sure that when you're do doing this the first time, please, you know, pause this, follow step by step, use the link to get to the template. But then of course, of course, of course, make a copy first. Do not do any editing into the file that says template. Make sure you copy it over, rename it, make it your own file and then edit it away. All right, so I hope that's super helpful. I hope that makes uh, creating event flyers a lot easier for you. And uh, we'll see you soon. Take care, you guys.